بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay so the next thing we'll try to understand about the api types now mainly we have two types of apis the apis within the local system or the local applications and the apis between the different applications so our focus will be on api remote applications so let's try to understand first the api within the local system now th- now if you take a simple example of in a computer let's say here i got a web browser here and then i got a notepad here let's say now these are two different applications here so one is your web page from where you can uh, it's a kind of another application which displays your websites and another is a simple text editor a simple notepad phone. so what i'm doing is i'm just trying to copy some of the text from from the web application and then i'm going to paste it over to the notepad again now here also there is some kind of api involved here so whenever you are doing some kind of copy paste of these things or generally if you take a simple example inside your computer system you will be having multiple applications and every application will do a different job and there must be something to talk between these two applications okay so this is also one kind of api again but the difference is in this api this actually works within the same system and there is no networking device is actually involved here it's completely inside your system okay so there may be one or more apis again i'm not specifically saying there is one api maybe one or more apis present inside your system which are allowing these two applications to talk to each other so this is the first one and the second one the apis which are used between as a messenger or to talk between two different applications now the concept of the concept what we are going to see in the sdn uh, probably they all come under the second category now if you remember the examples of this api with the remote applications i have taken an example in the previous definition in the airline probably or any kind of a login account or any kind of paypal accounts which redirects to a different portal page they all are example of this api which are used between two different applications right so when you are going with the airline example so the so the travel agent website or the database is going to interact with the airline and it's going to talk between them so for this we need to have ip reachability like in case of a uh, travel agent or online service you need to have some kind of internet connection so that you can reach the airline database because they are not sitting in your local system okay so similar way in sdn also when we are trying to ensure that the controller is going to talk with the applications and the controller is going to instruct the devices so there is some kind of api involved here and here also in our networking in the sdn networking as well now the communication the the api allows you to interact okay but at the same time you need to have some kind of ip reachability between them okay so you must have a network which is being built and you must have you must have reachability between the applications okay so probably or most of the applications what we use the apis they will be interacting between the two applications on two different systems and they must have reachability between them 